Alright. Uh, got a couple of comments on the last little bit. So, um, figured I would revamp the Athletics vs. Windows video. Um, basically, every OS has a problem, regardless of which one you use. Mac OS X, Linux, Windows, doesn't matter. They all have an issue. My issues with Windows as an operating system is when the GUI or the front end of Windows freezes up, hey look, you gotta restart your OS. Whereas something like Ubuntu that I'm using on my laptop right here, if the GUI crashes, all I have to do is control backspace it And it brings me back to the login screen. This is where Mac OS X and Linux have Windows beat hands down, regardless of what you guys think. Windows is a single user system that is trying to be a multi user system. It doesn't work that way. You start large and come down. You don't go from small to large. It doesn't work that way. At least with operating systems. The only good multi-user system that Microsoft made was Windows 2000. That's just the way it is. XP is a good user system too, don't get me wrong. Um, I've seen no reason to upgrade to Vista so far yet. Um, I run an NVIDIA card so uh, you know, NVIDIA and Vista get along about as good as ATI and Linux. So, that being said, There are issues with Linux and OS X. My issues with Linux are not so much the OS themselves, it's more of a direct result of lack of OEM support. Um, the manufacturers are not helping with the consumer choice range. Granted, some of that has been changing now. Um, Dell started offering Ubuntu last year as in its consumer range products. The laptops and desktops don't come necessarily with the most high-end hardware, but the hardware is there. It's not. I would call it probably low to mid-range hardware. I wouldn't call it dead end hardware necessarily. Um, Novell has just recently picked up HP and Levino as OEMs that are going to start supporting them on the business models. So then you also have other companies like Asus with the triple EPC and Everex with the Cloudbook that are finding a market in the sub notebook low cost UMPC market um, you know there people don't care what operating system it is most people give a damn about can they get on the internet check an email and do word processing listen to music let's watch videos on YouTube watch videos on DVD that's all they care about any OS can do that that is out of these current market right now Windows does it Linux does it OS X does it what it comes down to though is a matter of personal preference there are certain legacy programs on Windows that I cannot get to work with wine on my computer so I choose to keep XP. I do occasionally game, so XP being XP, I, ha I keep XP. So no, there will never be a total cutoff from any OS. However, I choose to emerge myself into other operating systems for a variety of reasons.
I tend not to be a fan of Bender Lock-In. As you will notice, I don't have a Mac. My reason for not having a Mac. Apple probably provides the best customer support there can be with Apple Care. No ifs, ands, or buts about that for me. However, I also like Apple's choice to go to an Intel platform. I just wish Apple would let go of the old vendor login mentality. And I don't see that happening. They control the OS, they control the SKUs. At least with Windows or Linux or any other OS that someone might try, you know, BSD is one that's a different story altogether, though. Um, you know, BSD, you got Haiku or BEOS. Um, so, you know, at least with these two. I have a choice of what hardware I want as opposed to what hardware the manufacturer So, yeah, that's the way I look at it. Um, but every OS has a problem. If you don't believe me, any OS can be hacked, can be have security short holes in it it doesn't matter you know XP to me is what I need and it runs what I need it to my laptop that runs Ubuntu just does what I want it to my laptop I just use to check emails listen to music do stuff for work. That's it. No, I'm not looking to do other stuff. So, and I'm not going to comment on how OS X is because I don't personally use it. So I'm not going to say it's bad or good. I personally do not like Apple's mentality for the operating system itself, though. I mean, uh, operating system with the hardware. So, that's my take on it. I hope that clarifies some. Um, but my opinion is, every OS sucks. It's just how you want to deal with your stuff. Personally, if I have to go to CLI occasionally, that's fine. No different than when I used to have to go to Prompt when I was running you know, Windows 98. So... My opinion is just use what works for you. You know, if Apple works for you, use Apple. If you know Linux or one of the thousands of flavors of Linux works for you, use Linux. If XP, Vista, 98, ME, my God, I hope it's not ME, but you know, if that if th any of those type of systems work for you, use them. You know, use what was right for you. It's the consumer that matters in the end. So. Hope that explains and clarifies some stuff.